I like half of my shit 60% soggy. <laughs> and the other 40 crunchy. Now you be able to blend that shit in. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth is an American rapper, songwriter, and record producer. Raised in Compton, California, Lamar has frequently been regarded as one of the most influential artists of his generation, as well as one of the greatest rappers and lyricists of all time. Aside from his solo career, he is also known as a member of the hip-hop supergroup Black Hippie, alongside his top dog entertainment, TDE, label mates, Ab Sewell, J-Rock, and Schoolboy Q. Lamar has received many accolades over the course of his career, including 13 Grammy Awards, two American Music Awards, five Billboard Music Awards, a Brit Award, 11 MTV Video Music Awards, a Pulitzer Prize, and an Academy Award nomination. In 2012, MTV named him the hottest MC in the game on their annual list. Time named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2016. In 2015, he received the California State Senate's Generational Icon Award. Jumping on a TV show or a movie here and there, you just waiting yeah. for the right thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just waiting on the right thing. I've heard like some reality series. I'd never do that. No, no way. As a, even as a f Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Kendrick Lamar Duckworth, but he's also known as K-Dot, Kung Fu Kenny, and Cornrow Kenny. He was born on June 17, 1987, and he stands at 5 feet 6 inches tall. Besides rapping and singing, his other favorite hobby is playing basketball. In April 2015, Lamar became engaged to his high school girlfriend, beautician Whitney Alfred. The high school sweethearts got engaged in 2015, but managed to keep their private life under the radar. Despite Lamar's discography, consisting of unapologetic Black Pride anthems such as All Right and Humble, Alfred appears to emerge as the Compton rapper's most beloved muse on the if love. Let's be honest, who else would K. Dot rap about being his only for life and homie for life other than his fiance? The three minute track features a smooth crooning assist by soul singer Zakari, as Lamar not only declares how much he wants to be with Alfred, but also asks her rhetorical questions to reaffirm their unconditional love before walking down the aisle. He raps, if I didn't ride Blade on Curb, would you still love me? If I made up my mind at work, would you still love me? Translation, Lamar ponders whether Alfred would stick around if he wasn't successful enough to buy fancy cars with big rims. In case you haven't heard the rapper talk about Alfred before, he doesn't really have to second guess her affection for him. Lamar told Billboard back in 2015, I wouldn't even call her my girl, he told the magazine. That's my best friend. I don't even like the term that society has put in the world as far as being a companion. She's somebody I can tell my fears to. Lamar continues on love. Already on 10. Our money all feeling, feeling don't drown. This party won't end. He expresses his commitment like a wedding vow to Alfred by rapping that his feelings for her have been and always will remain the same. And if his words aren't enough to show his devotion, Lamar adds, I bought the big one to prove it. Look what you made. The big one sounds like an expensive engagement ring that only a highly successful rapper could offer his bride-to-be. His tongue-in-cheap follow-up line can either mean, look what you made me do, as in, spend a lot of money on, or, you've made such an emotional impact on my life that you caused our love to exist in the first place. Analysis aside, there's no question Lamar is hopelessly devoted to Alfred. Whether he's calling her the one who gives me a run for my money, or venting that if, don't got you, I got nothing, Lamar couldn't give a damn about all his success without Alfred by his side. How can I be a voice for all these people around the world and can't reach them like, like I want to? Uh. And they're the closest to me. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth, who dropped his last name to perform as Kendrick Lamar, 
was born in Compton, California on June 17, 1987. His parents had moved to Compton from Chicago to escape the city's gang culture, although Lamar's father had been associated with the notorious gangster Disciples Gang. As the 1980s crack trade and West Coast gang presence increased, Lamar grew around precarious street activity, but he seemed more influenced than harmed by it. He was a good student who enjoyed writing, first stories and poems, and then lyrics. Lamar's family was directly touched by the violence on the streets, yet he remained thoughtful and soft-spoken, ever the keen observer, even as a child. He adopted the moniker K-Dot and began performing his lyrics as a rapper. At age 16 in 2003, he circulated a mixtape called Youngest Head in Charge, which drew a lot of interest in his native Southern California and beyond. The project was enough to get Lamar a record deal with Top Dog Entertainment, a respected California independent label and feeder to major labels. He went on to release two other acclaimed mixtapes, Training Day in 2005 and C4 in 2009. Steadily working with other up-and-coming West Coast rappers like J-Rock, Absol, and Schoolboy Q. Lamar and these other performers eventually formed their own rap collective, Black Hippie. Lamar embarked on his musical career as a teenager under the stage name K-Dot, releasing a mixtape that garnered local attention and led to his signing with indie record label Top Dog. He began to gain recognition in 2010's first retail release, Overly Dedicated. The following year, he independently released his first studio album, Section 80, which included his debut single, High Power. By that time, he had amassed a large online following and collaborated with several prominent hip-hop artists, including The Game, Busta Rhymes, and Snoop Dogg. Lamar's major label debut album, Good Kid, Mad City, was released in 2012 to critical acclaim. It was later certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. His third album, To Pimp a Butterfly in 2015, incorporated elements of funk, soul, jazz, and spoken word. It became his first number one album on the Billboard 200 and was the most acclaimed album of the 2010s. It was followed by Untitled Unmastered 2016, a collection of unreleased demos that originated during the recording sessions for To Pimp a Butterfly. He released his fourth album, Damn, in 2017 to further acclaim. Its lead single, Humble, topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, while the album became the first non-classical and non-jazz album to be awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Music. In 2018, he wrote and produced 14 songs for the soundtrack to the superhero film Black Panther. Lamar's work received widespread critical acclaim and won the Academy and Grammy Awards for Best Original Score. Annual earnings of Kendrick Lamar are $38.5 million. As of 2020, his net worth is $75 million. He owns a couple of properties, a $2.65 million home in Calabasas, California, where he lives, and a $550,000 house on the east side of Compton for his parents. A modern mansion in Manhattan Beach, California, where he picked up for $9.7 million. In his garage, you can find a Range Rover Sport, a 1992 Cadillac Seville, a Mercedes G-Class, a BMW i8, and a 1964 Chevy Impala. 